Next, I'm going to wire the lights, you know, get that working. Bought these uh, brake light, signal light, tail light things off Amazon. Uh, let's get it working. I needed a good place to mount the lights, so I built this bumper to mount them on. I had to relocate the brake light switch. The old switch mounted in this hole there. I had to drill it spot weld. Then it took this bracket, but it hit on the dimmer switch. So I moved it back there. Just put drilled some holes, put it in. Then I made this bracket right here. And then that'll fit right on there to push on the switch. I put the nut on and tightened it up to secure the bracket. And then I adjusted my switch so that the brake lights come on as soon as you touch the brake pedal. For the rear lights, I just used a standard trailer light wire. It's pretty nice. It's all labeled which wire goes where. Since I put the LED lights in, I had to buy this special flasher for LEDs. It's the standard one wouldn't flash. Front marker lights, I removed the old 6 volt light socket. I purchased two of these universal light sockets. Being the truck is so rusty, I wanted a positive ground, so I put this bolt through the socket so I could run a ground wire to each light. It had a hole in the back, but it was too small, so I drilled a three quarter inch hole and placed the new socket through the hole, and it turned out really well. I built a wiring harness for the headlights and signal lights and marker lights. And it runs up into the cab, into the wiring on the steering column. We got the uh, headlights and marker lights and signal lights working. Next, I got to get a temp switch. It's going to go right in there to turn on and off the fan. Now I'm just waiting for the license plate so I can... Take it on the road.